Derek Marshall. The world of science is hair raising. Son of a! I felt that in my groin. Al Gore says this theory of yours, time warps. It's nonsense. Al Gore is just a glory hound running his mouth. Yep, 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 yep. The yep. Nobel Prize. Hi, I'm Lou Dominic, chief film critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Land of the Lost. Pity the poor parent who takes the kids to see the Land of the Lost. Will Ferrell's relentlessly vulgar, unexciting, and unfunny experiment in family entertainment. Said parent will get to cringe when Farrell sticks his hands down his pants to pleasure himself and, while under the influence, contemplates kissing a half-man, half-ape who in another scene repeatedly fondles Anna Friel's breasts. It's hard to imagine exactly who is the audience for this $100 million plus fiasco, which is nominally based on the Corp Brothers 70s TV series. It's too smutty for kids and too stupid for anyone else, with a long sequence devoted to Farrell dousing himself with dinosaur urine. <laughs> Okay. Oh, but it's not chorizo tacos. No immediate danger. Cold-blooded and slow. I repeat, no immediate danger. Will you stop that? Please, you are freaking me out. Farrell plays a disgraced scientist who gets caught in the time warp along with a Friel's doctoral student and a nitwit tour guide played by Danny McBride. They all end up in a place where past, present, and future mash up together. They're running from dinosaurs, trying to stop the conquest of the universe, and plotting to return to their own time. Most of they're swimming upstream in decades of random cultural references. Imagine a scantily clad feral mincing through a field of pterodactyl eggs, while accompanied by a much heard number from a chorus line. Better yet, don't. So I'm giving Land of the Lost half a star out of four. I'm Lou Lumina. You can find my review of this and other movies at nypost.com. Ah! He's incapable of rapid course correction. Try running a serpentine pattern. Serpentine!